America's population is steadily aging, with current government data showing more than 40 million citizens over 65, and another 35 million set to reach that mark in the next 10 years. There are now more older drivers on the road than ever, and it's critical for these drivers to recognize how growing older affects their driving and what adjustments they need to make. Well, as we age, uh, a number of changes take place. Our vision and our hearing are not as sharp as they used to be. Our range of motion, our physical dexterity, our speed of decision making all decline. Those things happen at various speeds and to various extents with individuals, but they are inevitable and they will happen to all of us. Taking those characteristics into consideration in how we operate the system is something we'll have to deal with. Communities all across America are taking steps to maximize the safety for older drivers and those who share the road with them. And these measures don't just make roads safer for older drivers, but for everyone. Intersections can become much safer if they're replaced with roundabouts or have dedicated left-hand turn lanes added to them. Longer entry lanes make it easier for older drivers to merge onto busy roadways. Signs, road markings, and traffic signals that are easy to read and understand improve intersection safety and allow drivers to anticipate potentially hazardous situations. Clear view fonts for signs, overhead mounted street signs, and transverse pavement striping or rumble strips are some of the road design features developed with older drivers in mind. For those who get around on foot, medians, refuge islands, and pedestrian countdown signals help them safely navigate crosswalks. Many of the roadway safety improvements that are being designed for older drivers also benefit everyone, whether it's uh, more retroflective signs, brighter markings, stronger uh, barriers, uh, median uh, cables that protect vehicles from crossing uh, from one side of the road to the other. You know, these are basic low-cost safety improvements that um, can save older drivers' lives but also make the road safer for everyone. Driver education can also play a role in helping people stay safe behind the wheel as they grow older. Many Americans haven't had any driving safety instruction since they first got their licenses, and the rules of the road have changed dramatically over the years. Refresher courses can benefit drivers of all ages. One of the things that we also recommend is that people take a refresher course. Remember, many people, 65 plus, last time they took a driver course was when they were 16, so that was a long time ago. So lots of things have changed, rules of the road have changed, so we recommend taking a refresher course. AARP does have one, and you can go to our website at aarp.org drive and find a course in your local area. Not only are there more older drivers than ever before, but they're keeping their licenses longer, making it even more important to invest in roadway improvements so they can continue to safely enjoy the independence that comes with mobility. It gives me my life, my freedom, my ability to do everything that I need to do. Well, mobile's freedom, and you should be able to keep that as long as you can. Mobility has always been part of our country's fabric. And for older Americans, the ability to keep driving is an essential part of living independently. With more and more drivers age 65 and over now on our roadways, the traffic safety community is taking steps to ensure the safety of our growing older driver population and those who share the road with them. Today, we'll take a look at three success stories that have helped older Americans' mobility. We'll meet experts on roadway design measures and technologies that maximize older driving safety. We'll find out how a state with one of the nation's largest percentages of drivers 65 and over is addressing their residents' older driving issues. And we'll learn how a community that many retirees call home has added features to its crosswalks to make them safer for pedestrians of all ages. 
Growth in the number of older drivers in recent years has led to fresh thinking about how we design intersections, traffic signals, signs, crosswalks, and merge lanes. New approaches for lines, signs, signals, and engineering are making roadways safer for older drivers and pedestrians. Older drivers need to be able to see things uh further in advance and have more time to react. In addition, an older driver, someone in their late 60s or 70s, needs seven times more light than a person in their 20s uh, to, to get the same impact, say from a reflective traffic sign. Well, certainly some of the most, uh, I think, uh, easiest steps that can be made is to try to, uh, try, try to make the traffic control devices brighter, uh, more visible, uh, pavement markings in the form of making them wider uh, to again be more uh, conspicuous uh, and, and providing uh, dedicated left turn lanes uh, so that it's easier for them to understand uh, complicated intersections. Uh, all of those uh, could contribute to a safer driving environment not only for seniors but for, uh, for all of our driving population. We're citizens and people too, and we have to get around, and we have active lives. I think people are living longer, and as you are living longer, uh, you need to have those options of mobility, and certainly uh, that's in itself a reason for it, and that's, of course, we already know uh, there is an increasing uh, larger number of seniors that are driving, and are, in many cases, reluctant to give up their driver's license because it does give them that freedom of mobility to go shopping, to go to cultural events, to go to the movies, to go to the hardware store. You know, that's the kind of things that seniors like to do. Delaware has one of the nation's highest percentages of drivers 65 and over. With that in mind, the state launched the Safe and Mobile Delaware campaign based on a needs assessment for the state's roadways and featured in a PBS documentary. Implementation of the recommendations is well underway and it's already making a difference. Uh, Delaware has one of the highest percentages of older drivers uh, in the country. Several years ago, uh, both staff from the Delaware Department of Transportation and the University of Delaware were realizing that with our aging population and, and older drivers, uh, that there were some issues to, to consider and determine if uh, our standards were uh, meeting up with the, the best practices that are, are out there in the country for handling uh, older driver issues. And the study was focusing on the best practices around the country. Uh, so whatever we can do to standardize designs and also to, uh, to make signs bigger, uh, to place the signs farther away from the intersection, uh, to, give the, to give the driver and the older driver in particular as much of a chance as possible to assess what we're trying to convey, that there's a curve ahead or that there's a traffic signal ahead. And, assess that information and then react to it in, in a, a, a safe fashion. For traffic signals, uh, Delaware standardized uh, a long time ago on 12-inch uh, signal indications. So that's an area where Delaware was a little bit ahead of the curve. It feels good to be a part of uh, advancing the, the state of the practice and certainly uh, our number one goal is to improve safety but also uh, helping to improve mobility and, and operations in our systems. Tampa is another community with a large population of retired citizens that has taken steps to keep roadways safe by looking out for pedestrians. Thanks to the efforts of a concerned citizen, there are now specially designed crosswalks in areas with high concentrations of retirees that have roadway safety features to alert drivers and make it easier for pedestrians of all ages to safely cross the street. Fletcher Avenue was uh, is highly traveled with all the the employees, uh, the people in the companies, uh, plus the University of South Florida. Uh, it was really atrocious and the uh, traffic was uh, just unbearable. You couldn't get in and out of John Knox in a safe manner. And so uh, people was having accidents just about weekly or sometimes daily trying to get in and out because of the people that were speeding in here. Consequently, we ended up with the senior zone. And it, it, is, it is work, it's been a success. Well, to start with, they started putting up lights, putting up signs with the, the signs on the road, the, 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 the approach 
with the signs, letting the the, res, the, uh, 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 the public know that it is a senior zone area. Uh, it has got the job, uh, you know, completed in a proper manner. Well, I, I'm real proud of the fact that we was uh, I was able to accomplish this because uh, if you have any compassion for your neighbors and your uh, residents here. You, you, it really makes you feel good that maybe your efforts have saved in some, saving some lives. All across the country, the number of Americans more than 65 years old will steadily increase well into the future. This growing population will want to be able to continue getting around on their own so they can live independently, making it more important than ever to invest in roadway designs that will ensure their safe mobility.